Hello students, I am Dr. Shelja Sharma, Assistant Professor from Indian Institute of Tourism and Travel Management, your instructor for this module. Welcome back to the course on Destination Management. We bring this course to you as a part of e Shala initiative of the Ministry of Human Resource Development Government of India to make postgraduate education accessible to all. Promoting a destination is okay, but at the end of the day, you should be able to sell tourism products to the visitors. Thus, development of quality tourism products is an essential element of destination management. In this module, we will try to understand the concept of product and tourism product. We will also try to figure out the general classification of tourism product, the levels of product and product development. We will also try to reason out the development, developing of the product. We will also discuss the components of tourism product development and agents for tourism product development. We will also follow the Kotler's approach to the process of product development. In this module, we will also look at product development from an individual firm's perspective. The above statement clearly defines the importance of change and if the products are not improved according to the change then the products demand declines. Every company adds and eliminates some of the features in the product quality, design, packaging, marketing program etc. according to the change in the macro and micro environment. Tourism products are the bouquet of all the elements which affects the tourism experiences. New product development in tourism refers to reshaping the existing tourism products according to standards set as well as needs and wants of the international and domestic tourists. It is a complete process which includes a series of steps, generation of ideas, screening of ideas, concept development and testing, business analysis, product development, test marketing, commercialization, review of product, which collectively improves the standard of product and enhances the tourist experiences which in return adds to nation's economy. Product in general. Product is defined as anything which has the ability to gratify human needs and which can be exchanged in market in return of money. In tourism context, the tourism product can be anything, building, place, organization or any event which is away from the place of work and residence and have the potential to satisfy the need of leisure, pleasure, medical, business, adventure, thirst, etc. According to Foster, tourism products include comprehensive range of packages and travel facilities in addition, non-material and tangible thing. A general classification of tourism products is on the graphic. Nature-based tourism products, any place, thing or phenomenon blessed or gifted by nature to us which has the ability to attract and satisfy the tourists. By its wonder, beauty or uniqueness are known as nature-based tourism products. For example, beaches, deserts, hills, etc. Man-made tourism products, anything, place, event, etc. created by man and which has the ability to attract tourists are known as man-made tourism products. For example, Taj Mahal, Disneyland, etc. Hybrid tourism product. It is the combination of nature-based as well as man-made tourism product. It can be defined as product which is gifted by nature but edited or improved by human to attract tourists are termed as hybrid tourism product. For example, national parks, wildlife sanctuaries, etc. Even based tourism product, any occurrence of specific importance happening at a determined time and place which have the potential to attract as well as satisfied tourists are termed as event-based tourism products. For example, Taj Mahotsav, Agra, Khajurao Dance Festival, Khajurao. Now, activity-based tourism product, the condition in which the thing are happening or being done and which attracts the tourist either as a participant or as a witness are termed as activity-based tourism. For example, rock climbing, water surfing, desert safari, etc. Another way of looking at tourism products is as primary products and secondary products. The primary tourism products include destination packages, attractions, amenities, transportation, 
accommodation escorting and guiding services, circuits, trails and festivals, shopping outlets, adventure facilities. Then there are secondary products like insurance, information centers, securities, agency, medical facilities, sanitation, water supply, electricity, etc. According to Philip Kotler, there are three levels of the product core product. It is the main reason why the customer is buying the product. It refers to the core or main benefit from the product like a customer books a hotel room for staying as well as for relaxation which is the core benefit actual product it refers to the core product along with its additional features such as service quality brand name etc for example an air conditioned room with decorative interiors augmented product that's another category it refers to additional consumer benefits offered which adds to the uniqueness of the product and increases product quality and customer satisfaction. For example, a swimming pool facing room with free spa treatment. Let us now look at product development. Product development in general sense refers to the process which includes research of needs and demands of the consumer base on research the product is improved. It involves two aspects, technical development it refers to the addition of new features, uniqueness, design, packaging, etc. Market development, it refers to the improvement in marketing strategies, promotion and decisions, promotion mix decisions, distribution channels, etc. According to William and Stanson, William J. Stanson, product development encompasses the technical activities of product research, engineering and designing. According to Lipson and Darling, product development involves the adding, dropping and modification of item specifications on the product line for a given period of time, usually one year. Now, let us look at the development of a tourism product. According to Middleton, Clark, etc., tourism product can be used as an umbrella concept that explains all tourism related goods, products, services and experiences which are produced for the consumption of a tourist Product development in tourism refers to the development of all the aspects of tourism like accommodation, transportation and other components which affect the tourist experiences and satisfaction level. Product development in tourism can be defined as a process by which the tourism resources are shaped by to meet the requirement of international and domestic tourists in a sustainable manner. Some of the reasons for tourism product development are 1. There should be continuous consideration, development and launching of new products which is essential for longer life of the tourism. 2. The products at maturity level faces strict competition and so new features should be introduced to the existing product in order to compete in the market. Third, with the changing technology, there must be the change in tourism product as expectation of new era. Tourists also want advanced techniques based luxury and to fulfill this, the tourism product needs to be changed accordingly. Four, the demand of the tourism product is governed by the environment. According to the changing environment, the tourism product should be changed so that the tourism experience can be enhanced. Let us now look at the components that need to be developed uh, as part of the tourism product. Look at the graphic. There are four components. Attractions. Many different attractions may induce tourists to visit particular areas or spend their holidays in specific regions. So Suzuki 967, Peters and many more. Each and every element, cultural, natural and man-made which have the potential to attract tourists must be developed in a sustainable way. Liu 1987 in a recent review of studies of attractions suggests three basic perspectives have been adopted as ideographic listing of attractions and organizational perspective which takes account of factors such as capacity, spatial and the temporal scale and a cognitive perspective incorporating tourist perceptions and experiences and attractions, experiences of attractions. Transportation is defined as the means which joins the origin to destination. The historical development of tourism witnesses the importance of transportation. The early development of spas and seaside resorts depend largely on the development of railways. Modern era is the age of speed where tourists wishes to cover maximum distance in minimum time and money along with safety, security and comfort. Development of transportation includes development of three main elements of transportation, infrastructure, vehicle and operations. 
This development can be done by public sector or by private sector or by partnership of both. Moreover, like ITA has launched a project named Clear Sky to reduce the pollution by air transportation, like more initiatives should be taken by road, rail and water transportation authorities to reduce the amount of pollution. Accommodation. Accommodation is defined as home away from sweet home, which means a place for stay and relax with all the safety, security, convenience and comfort. Accommodation sector can be divided into organized and supplementary sector. Organized sector, hotels, motels, resorts, boutique hotels, hotels, etc. Supplementary guest houses, apartments, paying guests, etc. Development of accommodation refers to improvement of infrastructure of hotel, motel, etc. Improvement of room, service quality, food quality, training of human resources, etc. New innovations should be introduced like in the country like India which is famous for its royal heritage, royal theme, accommodation should be promoted and also eco-friendly accommodation like tree houses, mud caves, camping at river bank or national park to provide a unique experience. Other facilities and services. Satisfaction is an important tool for the increase in revisits of tourists. Tourist visits the destinations for the pleasure and the facilities present at the destination add to the tourist experiences and satisfaction level. Development of facilities refer to the advanced and enhancement of amenities at the given destination according to the global standards. All the necessary facilities which are provided at leading tourism destinations should be developed in order to promote tourism. For example, Wi-Fi networks, information centers, tourist police, tourist guides, etc. should be present at tourist destinations. Another important component of product development is to recognize the agents of development. Development of tourism products cannot be done by the product itself. There are various agents for players who are responsible to the development of tourism product. These agents can facilitate, control or limit the development. Have a look at the graphic. The significant players include the private sector players. Private players invest in the development of tourism products to earn profit. The participation of private players depends on one of the government policies and to the market attractiveness. In tourism industry, some of the active private players are Yatra.com, Kioni, Taj Group, the Leelas, etc. Public sector players refers to three levels of government that is central, state and regional level. Their aim is not to earn profit but to promote tourism of the country. Some of the public sector players are MPSTDC, ITDC, etc. Then there are organizations, various international and national organizations work to promote the tourism. Organizations role in tourism product development is provide loans, develop guidelines, technical assistance, helps in promotions, encourages for sustainable development. Some of the international organizations are World Bank, ITA, PATA. Some examples of national organizations, Indian organizations are ITO, TAI, etc. Public-private partnership. It refers to an arrangement between the public sectors and private sectors with clear agreement on shared objectives for the delivery of public infrastructure and public utilities. It is legal entity in which 51% or more of the equity in, is with the private players for the creation of the infrastructure for a specific period of time. Local and regional authorities. Local and regional authorities provide finance for the development of tourism product at the regional level. It provides finance for the maintenance of basic services like electricity, sewage, road, etc. for the use of local people as well as for the tourists. Let us now talk about the process. According to Fitlip Kotler, new products are the lifeblood of a company. Developing new product is a complex process with a number of steps. According to Linear View, new product development process begins with ideas, proceeds with ideas, screening, concept development, business analysis, product development and test marketing ends with the product actually commercializes and creates wealth. First step is idea generation. Idea is defined as a thought or a collection of thoughts that generate in minds about something. A need leads to new opportunities which further leads to idea generation. The need 
and wants of the customer should be analyzed properly so that the new ideas can be generated for the fulfillment of customers needs and wants for example travel agents analyze that people want to escape in summer seasons and so they came up with the vacations on himalaya or vacations on hill stations several travel agents analyzed that educated class were attracted towards the conservation of natural resources and natural environments which gave to the birth to the idea of green hotels eco hotels eco lodges etc let us talk about the sources of ideas there are various sources by which ideas can be generated the sources can be divided into internal resources and external sources internal sources these are the sources within an organization from which various type of ideas can be generated some of the internal sources are basic research each company or firm indulge itself in some or the other kind of research which aims at providing ideas for the improvement of existing product creation of new product as well as fighting the competition in market sales team sales team comes in direct contact with the customer so knows the needs of customers better and so better ideas can be generated from the sales team management scanning the environment is one of the basic functions of management which results in keen observation of the elements of environment like political technological legal etc which are the elements of changed ideas generated taking these environmental conditions into consideration plays an important role then there are external sources these sources affect the process of idea generation from outside the organization or firm some of the external sources are competitors analyzing the competitors and the products is an important task majority of ideas are obtained from analysis of competitor products and their sales volume in tourism sector about 60% of the ideas are generated from analysis of competitor competitor products customers is number 2 whole marketing concept revolves around the customers and their needs ideas can be generated by listening analyzing the customers needs and wants which can be done either by direct interaction surveys etc these needs and wants are converted into new ideas for new product distributors and suppliers are the persons who distribute the products in the market and hence so they know about the customers needs and wants and so help in idea generation suppliers are the persons who supplies the raw material for the productions they can help the idea generation by in uh, by suggesting about new and cost effective raw materials new techniques which can cut the cost and add to the quality of product there are some techniques for generating new product ideas attribute testing attribute listing this technique all the major attributes of the existing products are listed and then modified in search of new improved product first relationship in this method relationship is established between two ideas and these ideas are paired to come up with the fresh new ideas reserve thinking in this technique instead of adopting the logical and normal manner we think about opposite ideas for example instead of thinking that how can we increase the number of tourist arrivals in gwalior we will think that how can we decrease the number of tourist arrival in gwalior by this list of negative attributes is obtained which provides the directions for the product improvement as it defines the attributes that should be avoided brainstorming creative techniques by which new ideas can be generated this technique is evolved by the principle that employees can be more creative by meeting others than by participating in the organized groups solution of a specific problem is found out by gathering a list of ideas spontaneously contributed by its members problem inventory analysis in this method the customers are provided with a list of problems and asked to discuss on it this discussion results in new ideas generation second step is screening of ideas idea generation aims at generating a number of ideas for a problem but all the ideas cannot be converted into a product the basic difficulty in, is the, in the valuation of ideas and selecting the worthy ideas and eliminating the ideas which does not match with the company's objectives missions our vision screening is the second step in which the number of ideas are reduced only those ideas which have the potential to become a product are kept while others are dropped out the main of aim of the screening is to reduce the waste of money afford at time 
and the subsequent in the subsequent stages screening methods there are various methods by which elimination of ideas are done some of them are checklist method in this method a checklist is made with desirable product characteristics and evaluations done on the basis of merits and demerits idea rating method in this method several significant spheres of product performance are taken into account and each in each if several sphere is given due weightage the product Compatibility is valued on 10 point value system and this value is called compatibility factor. The final value will be equal for the multiplication of sphere factor and the compatibility factor. Third step is concept development and testing. After the elimination of ideas in screening stage the worthy ideas are now converted into product concept though words product ideas and product concept may look similar but their meanings differ code to define product idea possible product that a company might offer to the market product concept and elaborated version of the idea expressed in a meaningful consumer term product concept development refers to systematic arrangement of ideas into concept for the new product the new product concept should answer the following questions what are the primary benefits received from the product who are the potential customers who are the competitors concept testing it is the process of evaluating and the magnetism power of the product concept that is how many customers are attracted towards the concept in this stage a group of customers are selected and concept description is provided to them and then their response is recorded the testing must answer the following questions what is the magnetism power of the concept what are the percentage of success what are the percentage of failure which areas need improvement what is the concept value from customer viewpoint the concept testing is done in number of ways like sample survey conjoint analysis etc fourth step is business analysis in business analysis benefits of the product are analyzed that is whether the product can contribute in fulfilling the company's objective or not elements of business analysis are cost analysis in it the total cost is calculated which includes the cost of production cost of manufacturing marketing cost distribution cost and other miscellaneous cost sales analysis analysis of sales history of similar products available in market or in the basis of customer opinion estimated sales are calculated it is also termed as demand analysis selling price analysis selling price is calculated on the basis of estimated sales estimated overall cost price of the competitors profit analysis on the basis of selling price analysis profit is calculated by the following ways break even analysis rate of return analysis payout analysis discounted cash analysis discounted cash flow analysis fifth step is product development if there is positive sign from business analysis then test then the product concept is processed and there are a variety of steps which involves packaging labeling branding etc and a shape product comes out for the selling in the marketplace according to philip kotler the prototype must satisfy following three conditions one attributes must be similar as described in the product concept two it must perform safely and smoothly under normal conditions three it must be prepared within budgeted amount and when the prototype is ready it must undergo two types of test functional test in this it is checked whether the product is safe and effective in use or not consumer test consumers are invited to test the product and then check whether it is beneficial or not sixth step is test marketing according to kotler if the product under goes the functional and consumer test successfully then it is ready for test marketing process on a test marketing process product along with the marketing programs is launched in a limited area to know the reaction of the potential customers it evaluates the product and marketing programs performance in real market situations next step is commercialization it is the process of making the final decision and launching the product finally in the market on the basis of the information provided by the market testing according to kotler john t bowen and james mackens the company must make four decisions which are when the company must decide the right time to introduce the product in the market where the company must decide in which region the product is to be launched like in a single location in a state in a region or in a whole country 
to whom it refers to the segmentation of markets and identification of potential customers to whom company should focus during promotional campaign it refers to the action plan which is made by the company for introducing their product and the last step is review of market performance after the product enters the market it is the duty of the company to review its performance after a fixed interval of time and with the change in environment the company should introduce changes in marketing policies promotional campaigns as well as features of products which give a new opportunity to developing a new product from the ex ex existing one according to the change in environment and change in customers need and demands as customers customer is the king in marketing summary so new product development acts as a lifeblood for the declining companies as well as product as in the starting we have discussed that change is consistent and business environment changes rapidly and the companies should adopt the change and make the new product according to the demand of customers but it is a complex process which consists of a series of steps which are generation of ideas screening of ideas concept development and testing business analysis product development test marketing commercialization on and market performance review which ensures the competitive advantage over competition each new product often generates leads of consumer media attention and new purchases it also ensures the survival of the company as in business language it is well said that ready to be innovative or ready to die thank you